in Acts chapter 1 verse 8, Acts chapter 1 verse 8, the Bible says, But you shall receive this power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and you shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. You shall receive power. Close your eyes. Tell this prayer upon loud and clear. Anointing of the overcomer, fall upon me now. In the name of Jesus. Anointing of the overcomer, fall upon me now. In the name of Jesus. Anointing of the overcomer, fall upon me now. In Jesus' name. Hello viewers across the world. You are watching Evangelist Joshua TV. If you subscribe to my channel, kindly subscribe today. We are looking at the topic, five dreams that shows you are spiritually weak. Five dreams that shows you are spiritually weak. When we are weak, we cannot connect. And once we cannot connect, the devil easily uses us as their prey. Power is very important. Power is the ability to get things done. When a child of God is operating without the power of God, it's just a matter of time. That person's faith will be compromised. That person's stand in the Lord will be defeated. Why? Because there's no stamina. There's no power that can sustain that person for a period of time. The Bible says, those that trust in the Lord, they shall be strong and do exploit. When you are spiritually weak, then it means everything about your life, your prayer life, your Bible study life, your spiritual gift, all of those things combined are weak. The Bible says in our opening scriptures, but you shall receive power. The power must come. In the day of the Pentecost, the fire of the Lord comes like a mighty rushing wind coming to come and overwhelm them. Are you a child of God? Are you a minister of God? And you have checked yourself. You don't used to be spiritually strong as before. Something is wrong. Why do we have a lot of spiritual weaknesses in most churches today? Some of these things are not limited but sin, loss, and all kinds of iniquities. Somebody will be calling herself a prayer intercessor. Then there's no victory. A prayer warrior without victory. It's not a prayer warrior. A prayer warrior that cannot defeat the devil. It's not a prayer warrior. Prayer warrior. The Bible says we are more than conqueror. When you are spiritually weak. When you are struggling to attend fellowship. Struggling to worship in your church. Struggling to activate the gift of God in your life. You don't have the power of God. You shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. You must allow the Holy Ghost to take full possessions of your life. Look at that problem. Look at the way that problem is defeating you. Look at that dream. Look at how that dream is defeating you. Look at that unbelievers. Look at how the unbelievers are defeating you. You are going for evangelism without the power of God. You'll be compromised. It's just a matter of time. You'll be backslided because there's no power of God in you that can back up that thing you are doing. You are going to a strong man's house. You say you want to go and do a liberation in a family and you don't have the power of God. You'll be wasted. You need this power. Declare to yourself, power of God possess me. Power of God possess me. Power of God possess me. We need it. Somebody will tell you that I will deal with you and you are afraid. Somebody is telling you that we shall see and you are afraid. Somebody will tell you that in the next three days, in the next one month, you are not going to live long and you are afraid. The power of God is not there. The Bible says, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. God did not give us the spirit of fear. So, when somebody is challenging you and you are afraid, you are trembling, know that you don't have the power of God. Once the power of God comes, it comes with boldness. It comes with courage. It comes with strength. 
it comes to increase your faith and your stamina. No power can come and defeat you. So what are those dreams that shows or indicate you are spiritually weak? Whether you are a child of God, you are a believer, you are a minister of God, you are a servant of God, and you are seeing this kind of dreams, you need to increase, you need to upgrade your spiritual life. Number one, when you are being attacked in the dream, you are being attacked, defeated, paralyzed, molested, pursued in the dream. An ego, a bird is attacking an ego. It's an error. Common raven is destroying an ego. It's an error. You are an ego. You are created in the image of God. You should have the power of God to attack them. You are a believer. You recently had a dream where you have been shot. You don't have power. There's no spirit of resistance in you that can resist that attack. So when you have been attacked in the dream, you are spiritually weak. All these things you are seeing in the, in the physical realm, I am, I am hot for Jesus, I am Holy Ghost fire, is a lie. You have to upgrade your fire. That's what it means. Somebody wants to quench that fire in you. Somebody does not want to be victorious in life. When you are being attacked in a dream, you are spiritually weak. If your prayer life is shallow, your Bible study life is shallow, you need to upgrade it. Give your life to Christ. Repent from every known sin. Sin is the reason why you are being defeated. Sin is the reason why you are being attacked day in and night. You have to ask for the power of God so that you can defeat that enemy. David was not defeated by Goliath. David defeated what? Goliath and the Philistines. Look at Daniel in the midst of the lions. And there, God came to protect Daniel, the power of God. Look at Sheldon, Meshach, and Abnego in the fire. The king Nebuchadnezzar was looking at the fire, was seeing a strange person. Who was that? It is the Spirit of the Lord. If you don't have power, the Spirit of the Lord cannot come to defend you. You have been saying no way, professional against shall prosper. But if you are spiritually weak, if you are not doing the right thing, that power will not come. If you have not been baptized in your church, you have to baptize. If you don't study the Bible, you can't be the, you can't you can't experience victory. You can't call yourself a prayer warrior. You have to ask for the spirit of discernment and the spirit of strength in you. Number two, when you obeyed the command of a strange person in the dream, you obey the command of a strange person. Somebody was telling you in the dream, please come. For example, somebody was telling you in the dream, please enter into that river. And you enter into the river. Somebody was telling you in the dream, please take this gun. Ah, ah, a child of God. Somebody is telling you, take this knife and begin to shook everybody you see in the dream. Who is that one that is commanding you as a child of God? You have the power of God to resist them. They will cannot be toying with your life and destiny. Somebody is telling you, come, 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 come. Go and call that woman. Tell that woman I'm calling her in the dream. You have turned yourself as a slave in the dream. That is why you are not making progress. That is why any prayer you pray, God does not answer again. You are weak. Somebody is challenging you in the dream. Somebody is sending you an errand in the dream. Somebody is telling you, do this, and you will do it. A strange person, an evil person, an evil woman. You are spiritually weak. All this thing you are saying, I'm going to church now, you are praying, you, you are weak. The reason why you are seeing those things in the dream is for you to upgrade. It's for you to add more fire to your, the remaining fire you have. Praise the name of the Lord. Number 30 dream that shows that you are spiritually weak and you don't know. When you are being shot in the dream, somebody shot you from nowhere. Maybe somebody you know or somebody you don't know. Yes, the Bible says no weapon fashioned against me shall prosper. But the fact that you were shot in the dream, it is a slap on your spiritual life. It's a slap. Somebody will come without doing any offense and say he want to shoot you. For where? A child of God? You are spiritually weak. You don't have this power that can resist it. And the devil will flee away from you. There's no, there's no that force in you. That is why the enemies are taking advantage of you. And that is why the enemies are just doing all kinds of things, manipulation on your life. And in the physical world, things are not going well for you. Or things may be going well for you. But 
after some times you are experiencing all these ups and downs, be short in the dream. It's not good. As a child of God, send the arrow back to the senders. You are spiritually weak. Ask yourself, how many times do you wake up at night to pray? How many times do you pray before you sleep? And how many times do you pray after waking up? Can you answer that question? That is why you have been defeated, attacked, up and down. So upgrade your prayer life. Number four, when you are unable to resist something in the dream, almost the same thing I shared, when you are unable to resist something in the dream, resist arrows, reject that evil pronouncement, reject the cause, you are unable to, re somebody is causing you in the dream, you did not say anything. Somebody is insulting you, even in the dream or reality, you did not see anything. You have been defeated. You are spiritually weak. Somebody is telling you that you shall see. I'm going to deal with you. You did not see anything. You are weak. Your mouth has been closed. You can't demonstrate that power again. Spiritually weakness you are talking about. You have to cry out to God for the spirit of boldness. You don't have that boldness. Power and boldness work together. So ask God for that spirit to resist, to take authority whoever they be, in the dream or reality. Take authority. It is that authority that will save you. Number five dreams that show that you are spiritually weak is finding yourself eating in the dream. Eating in the dream. What were you eating in the dream? To you, you were eating rice. You were eating your favorite meal, delicious food. But in the realm of the spirit, it's not. It's not all those things you think. You are eating problems. You are eating something that can quench the fire of God in you. You are eating something that can extinguish the glory of God in your life. And that is why you are struggling today. And that is why you cannot achieve meaningful things in life. And that is why you cannot take power and authority. That is why your prayer life is zero. That is why your Bible study life is zero. And that is why your going to church is zero. That is why your speaking in tongue is zero. You are formerly a firebrand Christian. You are even the one asking other people to pray for you. You need to rise up. Until you rise up, the enemy will keep on bombarding you, oppressing you and pressing down your glory. I pray every power that will be sucking your spiritual fire, they shall vomit it in Jesus' name. I want you to close your eyes. Take prayer upon number one, loud and clear. Oh Lord, increase the level of my prayers in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, increase the level of my prayers in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father, increase the level of my prayers. Increase the level of my prayers. Increase the level of my prayers in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, increase the level of my prayers in Jesus' name too. I receive the power to confront and defeat my enemies in the name of Jesus. I receive the power to confront and defeat my enemies in the name of Jesus. I receive the power to confront and defeat my enemies in Jesus' name. Three, every arrow of spiritual weaknesses in my life come out in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of spiritual weaknesses in my life come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of spiritual weaknesses in my life. Come out in Jesus' name. For lastly, say, O oh Lord my Father, help me to do wonders in life. In the name of Jesus. O oh Lord my Father, help me to do wonders in life. In the name of Jesus. O oh Lord my Father, help me to do wonders in life. In Jesus' name it is done. Amen. If this broadcast has blessed you, share it to your friends and family. This evangelist Joshua Oreke. God bless you.